Brady Dyer and I'm just heading off to Waterloo School. Um, I got a phone call yesterday from the Hutt News who's out there taking a photo of Louise Upson and Chris Bishop who are presenting a prize to Anna, a kid at, well, at Waterloo School, who named the new um, Land Information Authority of New Zealand's biosecurity drone. The name was Manu, in case you're wondering. Um, yeah, so they're heading out there this morning to give us prizes. I think it's like a GoPro and a tablet and some other cool stuff. Um, they've asked me to come along and have some photos with the MPs and the prize winner with my drone. said my new Phantom 3 hasn't arrived yet and the Phantom 2 version plus is still playing up so I didn't really want to get up in the air. Plus I haven't actually got any time, I'm now racing into town, I've got half an hour to get into town um, and then about 15 minutes to set up for some headshots. over here I've got a compact flash card which is saving the full-size raw files and um, an iFire SD card which is sending low-res JPEGs to that card so that when we take a photo like so shows up on my screen for a few seconds but then also it instantly gets sent to my iPad over here you can see there's no one in my photo so it's just a nice big white photo uh, from here we can scroll through all the photos and choose the client's favourite and then when I get back to the studio I can throw in the full size combo flash card and slam it up their selections from the iPad with the full size raw files which I can then go through and process and edit and then send them through. So I've just finished all those headshots, uh, everything's packed back in the car. And the shoot was on Cuba Street over the road from Scopa, so I had to stop and get a hot chocolate. If you haven't tried Scopa's hot chocolate, they're amazing. Don't worry wife, I got you one too. Um, yeah, now I'm heading into Freedom to order a new couch for the new studio. 